Currently, nuclear waste sorting is done by hand with people in protective suits. We don't know what's in some of these containers that need to be sorted, so we've created a flexible modular system that allows us to deal with all scenarios. ISO sort means that the robots do the hard work and the people are away from all the radiation contamination and any nasty chemicals that might be in the process. It uses multiple layers of scans to determine what objects are as well as whether or not they're contaminated and then to segregate them into the various waste streams to efficiently and cost effectively manage the waste. The first step of ISOSORT is to pick items out of the bulk waste hopper and place them onto the logistics tray. Once the items have been placed on the logistics tray, they are scanned by the other robots. This robot has six independent sensors that gathers information about each item. After the data has been collected on each of these items, the item moves back towards the packing robot, which then uses that information to pack the items in the most appropriate waste stream. While ISOSORT is operating, People can sit in the control room and monitor it from their user input screens, make sure that systems are working correctly and optimally, act upon if containers need to be swapped out, but away from the radiation contaminants. The challenges we faced were mostly related to the objects because there was a great variety of objects we used for testing, from shiny metal parts to wood pieces, we were trying to probe each object blindly and the assumption we had to make was the object hasn't moved and the accuracies we were hoping for was a millimetre and a lot of sensors, conventional sensors in the market has a lot of noise and you know tackling those noise creating some sort of a probabilistic map of where, where each and every item is very accurately on the trace, such that the sensor doesn't collide with any of the objects that are on the tray. So to keep the robots safe, we put workspace limitations on the robots in their drivers, as well as running a pair of collision avoidance systems, which ensure that the robots don't hit each other themselves or the items that are around them and on the trays for sorting. It does this through a variety of sensor sweeps which generate height maps so that we know exactly how high the objects are so that when we do make other subsequent sensor passes at lower levels, we don't run into any of the objects. I thought it has been a very challenging project, even from the very beginning. So it was a great journey from choosing a right robot to integrate lots of sensors into the robot and operating it to have that kind of a millimeter accuracy to get everything working. Um, yeah, it was an amazing experience. Working in collaboration with Cilian and PAR enabled us to utilize our strengths. PAR Systems provided this great facility for us to house our demonstration. Cilian provided the picking and packing solution. Createc, as the leader of this project, organised all those other companies to work together in collaboration, as well as provided the scanning and data fusion technology. It was an interesting challenge because we were combining things that we usually do at CELAN, but we had to combine it with new technologies we had to develop, which was a 2D Tetris for the tray and a 3D Tetris for the packing. So this project has really been a great success for the robotics at Createc and a very good collaboration with CELAN as well. So we have developed a lot of modular and scalable capability. Uh, it's really important for us because we can adapt the solution to our customer need uh, and it's really exciting for the future. What's next for ISOSORT is to turn this prototype that we've created behind me into a modular system that people can deploy on their site and get these robots doing what they do best, which is sorting waste.